What started out as a cold ended up being so much more. There's no explaining to a three-year-old that your daddy's never coming home. And that, for me, is the absolute hardest part. Today on Del Marva Life, hear this woman's story of how her husband went from battling sniffs and sneezes fighting for his life. Hear what odds stacked against him. When it comes to the cold, many of you may reach for the medicine cabinet, trying just about anything to get rid of that crud. But are you just wasting your time and money? We find out if there really is a cure for the common cold. Well, if you've been fortunate enough not to fight the flu, consider yourself lucky, but not out of the woods yet. Find out what doctors are saying about this season, which strains are hardest to fight, and how an app can help bring you back to health. Well, cold feet won't necessarily make you sick, but it will have you running for a pair of socks or slippers. But what if I told you you didn't have to? Imagine walking barefoot in the winter and feeling heat beneath your piggies. Angie Hicks from Angie's List tells you how. Well, this man has a lot of know-how when it comes to the water. As a matter of fact, he's the last African-American skipjack captain still alive. We share his remarkable story. And tell me this isn't remarkable. Today, we're in the Delmarva Life Kitchen learning how to make chocolate banana empanadas with a vanilla bourbon caramel sauce. Well, quite the mouthful one I can't wait to stuff my <laughs> face with. Delmarva Life starts right now. Good afternoon, I'm Lisa Bryant. And I'm Sean Stryker, sitting in for Jimmy Hoppe. Welcome to Del Marva Life from Historic Studio D. Yeah, thank you for filling in for Jimmy, Sean. And I guess you're a little under the weather. I, you can hear it I in my I can hear voice. it in your voice. <laughs> but uh, You know, your timing is pretty good, though. Today, we're talking about the cold and flu season. But right now, we want to alert you to a children's cough medicine recall. Grocery store chain Giant is voluntarily recalling Care One Children's Mucus Relief Cough Medicine. Now, the company says incorrect marking on the caps could result in a potential overdose. Now, here's what you need to know. The recall by Perigo Company was issued for the four ounce cherry flavor of the Care One Children's Mucus Relief Cough Medicine. The product has a UPC number, and that number is 3415203187 on it. The expiration date? March 17th. That was as of Saturday. Giant says it had received no reports of illnesses. Customers who have re uh, purchased the product should discard any unused portion and take it back to get a full refund. Mm -hmm. now, I've heard that uh, this is, might just be a myth. I've heard back in the day when people got sick, they would take a shot of whiskey, they would give it to the kids, maybe a little shot of whiskey, well, a little uh, sugar. I don't know. I don't know. Hey, but talking about whiskey, if you're looking for a way to help the troops overseas, and here's a way to help them when they actually get back, the Dalmarva. Whiskey, that's where that combination oh, comes, okay. comes in. The Delmarva Whiskey Club is holding their second annual Whiskey Winter Goth Outing and Scotch Dinner. Proceeds from the event will go to Operation Seize the Day. You may remember Operation Seize the Day is a beach week event for our soldiers and veterans who are recovering from injuries sustained while serving our country and their families. The Winter Golf Outing and Scotch Dinner is on January 30th and 31st at Bayside Golf Resort. For more information, contact Ken Clover at 215-815-1706. It's so wonderful, all the things we do for our veterans. And our condolences to the family of World War II veteran and lifelong Denton resident Charles Moore. Moore passed away this past Friday at the age of 100. He was a well-known businessman and public servant in Caroline County and only left his hometown to attend college and serve overseas in the Army. He ran a funeral home that was started by his father and is, is still ran today by his son. Now, Moore also served as judge of the Orphan's Court and Register of Wills for Caroline County. Funeral services for Charles Moore will be tomorrow in Denton. Did a lot for his country, mm -hmm. a lot for the area as yeah. well. Well, you know, with all that's going on surrounding actor and comedian Bill Cosby these days, the University of Maryland Eastern Shore is considering its stand on an honorary degree awarded to him back in 1999. Oh. Now, several other colleges and universities are also trying to figure out how to respond to allegations of the sexual assault by 60 or more women against a 78-year-old entertainer. UMES President Juliet Bell expressed disappointment over the allegations in a written statement. Bell said the university officials are currently evaluating the, uh, uh, their options. Yeah, but what they can. If you take it away from him, aren't you just saying he's guilty yeah. and he hasn't been proven guilty? Yeah, it, that's a tough it's one. A tough I wouldn't want to make that call. No. Definitely a sticky situation. Well, guess what? For the seventh and the final time tonight, President Barack Obama will deliver the State of the Union address. The White House says the president's final address will be 
quote, non-traditional and that he will focus on larger challenges facing the country instead of the typical laundry list of policy proposals. Coverage of President Obama's final State of the Union address kicks off at 9 o'clock and you can watch it right here on WBOC. I'm probably watching it from bed. Yes. But here's the thing with the last one. I mean, does he... He's probably up there like, I'm just going to say whatever yeah, I want. Yeah, you know. It's my last one. Yeah, I guess so. Hmm. Well, if your New Year's resolution is to be a little more artsy or creative, well, you're in luck. The Dorchester Center for the Arts is now accepting registration for its winter session. The classes begin on varying dates, and discounts are available for DCA members. Classes include everything from painting and knitting to stained glass and the piano. The Dorchester Center for the arts says classes will fill up quickly so they do encourage uh, signing up early yes absolutely another popular event the annual mayor's prayer breakfast it's this friday in ocean city mark marrow is the keynote speaker he has a compelling personal story of tragedy and triumph with a high energy show using music visuals and video now despite many obstacles mark found success with hockey football and boxing and then achieved fame in wrestling. He's author of the book, How to Be the Happiest Person on the Planet. Mark's presentation uh, weaves his incredible personal story among practical tips for achieving one's highest potential in life. Sounds interesting. The Mayor's Prayer Breakfast is Friday morning at 7 at the Clarion Fountain Blue in Ocean City. Tickets are $20 and or you can get the table for $100. If you want more information, including where you can get your tickets, call this number 410-213-0144. Oh, very cool. Hey, you know, I love farmers markets. I do too. Yeah, and it's been another record-breaking season for Delaware's farmers markets. The market surpassed three million dollars in sales in 2015. Governor Jack Markell says the record-breaking season shows how Delaware's families, farmers, are thriving. Now, this year's market season began in April, and many start opening in May. There's uh, one winter market open right now in Millsboro. Oh, I love farmer. Okay, so that, those usually happen in the summer, and uh, I'm ready for summer. But we haven't even had our first snow storm on Delmarva yet. But when we do, we know a really cheap snow removal service. Take a look. In fact, this guy, he'll work for peanuts <laughs> or acorns or cashews. You get the picture. Take a look at this guy. Not sure if he's working for the utility company, but he's doing a really good job of removing the snow from that utility wire. Look at that. I think we're going to have to line up some nuts in my driveway and see just if have them, like yeah, zigzag. Yeah, clear your driveway. Well, might take a while. Does the look of that snow just make you cold? Where <laughs> here's something that may warm you right up. Looks like a standard floor, right? Well, it's not. It's actually heated, and many homeowners are turning to this type of radiant flooring to make their home more comfortable. Our friends from Angie's List tell us all about it a little later. You want to be warm and cozy if you're sick, but if you come down feeling gross, would you know if you had the cold or the flu? No, they're not the same. We help you decipher the difference next. We're also talking about treating your illness. Find out what doctors say help the most when it comes to relief. I'm convinced that this can help cure anything. Today, we're in the Del Mar Life Kitchen making chocolate banana empanadas with vanilla bourbon caramel sauce. And the fun doesn't stop there. A little later, we meet the morning crew of 1025 WBOC. Corey and Sarah drop in to tell us a little bit more about them. Del Marva Life, we'll be right back. Del Marva Life is brought to you by Sussex County Federal Credit Union, guiding you to your financial future. Peninsula Regional Medical Center, Honored to serve the entire Delmarva Peninsula since 1897. Hertrick family of automobile dealerships, your local York and LG dealers, and State Farm Insurance. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. 